So hello everyone, as I mentioned earlier, my name is Bailey Keller and I'm a senior program manager with the strategic partnerships team at TechSoup. So I wanted to introduce my colleague, Laura Ross Perry, who will share TechSoup's approach to equity, inclusion, diversity, and culture. Laura is a program development manager for TechSoup's global network of nonprofit partners, as well as a lead and collaborator on the equity, inclusion, diversity, and culture program. She has a background in international development and ICT4 development, and a deep interest in exploring the intersections of civil society, social impact, technology, and digital development, and global equity. So thank you for joining us today, Laura. Hi, everybody. Um, and it's an honor to be able to join you today and get to share a little bit about TechSoup's approach to um, equity, inclusion, diversity, and culture. So TechSoup actually had um, a pretty organic start to our program. It, um, it's, in its relatively nascent years, we started in October 2019, and this was um, from a staff-built development of a global, um, global Diversity Awareness Month. So we just had some passionate staff members who decided, let's do some programming around Global Diversity Awareness. From October 2019 till now, we were able to formalize an official program. And we actually have a full-time director now leading all of our equity initiatives. So our program, I'm sure many of you have pr similar programs and you've heard a lot of different acronyms like DEI, JEDI, for example. Ours is personally Equity, Inclusion, Diversity, and Culture, EIDC. And it's um, we did this intentionally because we believe that equity um, ensures inclusion, which brings meaning to diversity, and then that builds culture. So it's really important for us to have those four different terms. Um, another important piece of this for us is that we really build equity into absolutely everything we do at TechSoup. It's a foundation for us, um, a foundation for all of our programs and all of our interactions with staff. So you can see on the left hand side, we have built our program into three different pillars. So we wanted to make it, we wanted to be very intentional about not just focusing our equity work internally on staff, but also with all of our stakeholders and in our community. So we have different pillars that we focus this work on. We have our organization, that's all of our policies, everything that goes into um, what builds our culture at TechSoup, um, ensuring that people feel like they belong and are included and heard, and also developing a, um, an inclusive workforce. Then we have our network, which is all of the partners that we engage with, all of the vendors that we work with, the foundations we work with, all of our corporate partners, ensuring we share similar values and that we build equity into the programs that, are, um, that incorporate these partners. And then taking a step back out, we also have our community. So that's the larger ecosystem of civil society, which TechSoup is a part of. And we want to make sure that we are leaders of equity, inclusion, diversity, and culture in that space, and also continuously learning from others in the community as well. So all of our programming fits into these three pillars. The way that we do our work is through a very small but dedicated team at TechSoup, but also through a lot of staff involvement and impact. So one of the ways that we do that is through a bridge program. And BRIDGE, we love acronyms here, you can see. BRIDGE stands for Belonging, Respect, Inclusion, Diversity, and Global Equity. And it's um, essentially a formalized diversity council of cross-functional employees. We collaborate, identify, discuss, and think of ways to promote and maintain an inclusive culture. So there's a lot of event programming and different activities that come through the BRIDGE program and a lot of business initiatives that can be leveraged through BRIDGE as well. And then finally, we have recently formalized an affinity group program. So we have four different formal affinity groups now, which is super exciting. We have Black Allies, we have Alphabet Soup, which is our L LGBTQ plus and allies affinity group. We have a racial justice allyship group and also one specifically for junior professionals. And these, if you don't know what affinity groups are, these are places for um, community members within TechSoup who identify with different affinities or different um, interests can come together, have a safe space to discuss, share, do programming and events, but also likewise to bridge, um, have ways to leverage their expertise for different business initiatives in the organization. So all of these are different ways that we are really trying to weave equity into the fabric of everything that we do. And finally, we have a couple of different blog posts we've put together um, on our EIDC program. So we have Equity in Action, which is based on a webinar that our director, Lashika, who cannot be with us today, um, that she facilitated, as well as a blog post on the power of affinity groups. So talking a little bit about what they are, what they've done, um, what we've been able to do with them at TechSoup, and how you can grow them at your own organization. Please, please, please reach out to us if you have anything to share. We would love to learn from you. We would love to be able to share what we have experienced and um, continue to grow more types of programs like these at organizations and companies around the globe. So EIDC at TechSoup.org. We're looking forward to hearing from you.
Thank you.